is show you how to uh, um, find the x and y intercepts when given a, uh, an equation and, and then um, to uh, graph the equation. So first thing we need to want to do is we, don't, we want to know, well, how do we know what our x and y intercepts are? If given a graph, remember your x-intercept is where it crosses the x-axis and your y-intercept is where your graph crosses the y-axis. So if I was given some random x-intercept, let's say I choose this point, the value on my y-intercept is going to be zero. So to find the x-intercept, I'm going to say y equals zero. So in my function, I'm, or in my equation, I'm going to plug in zero for y. Then, obviously, this becomes 0, so I get 6x equals 42, <laughs> divided by 6, x equals 7. Therefore, my x-intercept is when x is the value of 7, or 7 comma 0. Because remember, the x value is 7, and the y value is 0. So I go over to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I make a nice little dot there. Then, to find the y-intercept, if I was going to say a y-intercept is down here or something, the y-intercept, my x value is equal to 0. So I'm going to say x equals 0. So I plug in a 0 in for x. So I get a negative 4y plus 6 times 0 equals 42. Well, obviously, this is going to uh, get to 0, so I get a negative 4y equals 42. Divide by negative 4, and I get y equals a negative 11.5. So therefore, my y-intercept is 0, comma, a negative 11.5. So I just go down a negative 11 on my y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 11.5 would be right between. And then to graph this, I know what my x and my y-intercept are. So to find the graph, I just need to connect these two points. OK? And I just need to connect these two points. And then um, I graph my line using x and y-intercepts.